Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shukla. If you have skin rash over cheeks and nose base for quite some time, it may be a sign of lupus, which is an autoimmune condition. A skin involvement could be a part of SLE or lupus can involve the skin just alone without involving the other organs of the body. Then in that case, we call it cutaneous lupus. I'll first tell you about the skin involvement in SLE. A skin rash in SLE is quite common and sometimes this is the first sign of lupus. The rash of SLE is very typical. There is redness over the cheeks and the nose bris in the shape of wings of butterfly. So we call it butterfly rash or the malar rash and it worsens after sun exposure. There may be involvement of the eyelids also. So there is redness and swelling around the eyes. The other kind of lupus which is cutaneous lupus has a different type of rash. We call it discoid lupus erythematosus or DLE. We call it discoid because the rash is this rash on the cheeks there may be involvement of the eyelids also. So there is redness and swelling on the scalp, face and the ears. Now these patches are covered with thick scales and which are very sticky. These patches heal after a long time, maybe some years and after healing they leave behind the scars, uh, hair loss and the discoloration. If there is timely treatment then this scarring could be avoided. In another type of cutaneous sleepers, there may be a rash which is ring shaped which is seen on upper chest, upper back and on the arms. Here these lesions they just uh, heal without any scarring but leave behind just marks which are lighter than the normal skin color. Apart from the skin rash there may be ulcers in the mouth, nose and eyes. Then the nail involvement could also be there in the form of thickened, brittle and discolored nails. Hair involvement is common in uh, lupus. It could be temporary loss of hairs or it could be permanent. In many types like the SLE it could be temporary loss where the hairs may come back again. But in discoid lupus it is a permanent hair loss and they never come back even with the treatment. The signs and symptoms of lupus are not enough to diagnose the disease because these, signs, these types of signs and symptoms may be seen in other diseases also. So we may have to undergo different blood tests and some other tests also. In the blood test, autoantibodies test is important. In the other test, it depends upon the organs involved. As far as the treatment of this condition is concerned, we have many good drugs for this disease. We have steroids, we have cyclophosphamide, azathioprine, methotrexate and other immunosuppressive drugs. Then we also have biologicals like belimubab and rituximab. With the treatment, we can certainly control the disease and make the life better. This is all for today. See you soon in the next video. Thank you very much.